What's going on guys? It is your boy AngrySA Gamer and today's video is the new function or the new feature that IGG added to the game by where it shows you what is the best build for what hero. I'm going to show you how to pair those together, what is the best options for you and then also if you do like this series that I'm going to start now, um, just leave a like for that and also just show your support by leaving a comment saying yes, continue or no, don't do it. Um, so that I can know how's the feedback give me some feedback on what you guys think and um, If you want some of my merch click on the link in the description merch is available there I've got some uh, new t-shirts and hoodies up one each actually and then also if you want to make money in Castle Clash while spending Click on the links in the description and that will help you out with that now. Let's get into Euro builds part one <laughs> Let's see what legend is going to be first. And it's going to be... L Lazulix. Okay, so Lazulix. Uh, let's take a look at Lazulix. Uh, let's look at the Lazulix that they provide and what talents they say is best. So according to Cards of Clash, they say Revive, Sacred Light, um, Revitalize Flame God or Survival is best for Lazulix. And I do agree with that selection. It's definitely one of the better options out there. I'd rather go with Revive uh, as your main talent because uh, to get Revive and or, and or Flame God as a level 10 Insignia is not that easy. Um, it's easier to get a Sacred Light, uh, Revitalize and Survival as a level 10 Insignia. So I'd rather stick to either Sacred Light or Revive, but the reason why we use uh, Revive instead of Sacred Light, excuse me, is because what Sacred Light can do, it's gonna reduce a bit of the damage, increase a bit of the HP, but that's it. He's still gonna die, the legends still have massive damage output. So you'd rather want him to die and come back and get another skill activation wh while using Revitalize as your insignia. So let's see what they have as the insignias. I don't see the point in having empowered as an insignia because Lazulik needs to get is not auto proc, so he needs to get a hit in in order to get a skill activation. So uh, I don't see empowered working there, and he's he, uh, it doesn't state that he's got fast energy recovery anyway, does it? It doesn't state that he has fast energy recovery, but his energy does recover quite quickly. Um, so I'd rather just stick to revive and revitalize. That's that's my opinion. Now, next up, what do they have for the secondary insignias? Is they have um, almost all of them. They've got the Inspire. They have the Athenia. They have uh, the Tyranny. They've got basically all of them except the new one. Uh, they've got Lawful Shield and um, Chaos Armor. Now, I do not agree with this. Because why would you use something that's deliberately going to take away any of your attack? Reduce attack by 40% if talent is used by a non-void walker. Now, in Lazulix's case, that doesn't matter because we're not going to use him for attack. But they also suggest that for other heroes. So, I'd be careful of that. But in Lazulix's case, it's fine because it will raise the HP by 110% and reduce the damage received by 55%. We don't use him for his attack. So, in that case, I totally agree with it. But normally, I wouldn't. Especially on some of the other heroes that they suggest that on. Now, secondly, for the... Uh, Enchantment, they've got Hyper Strength. Um, once again, Hyper Strength makes no sense because it increases the attack and the energy recovery rate. The energy recovery rate I'd agree with, but like I said, he's got non disclosed um, fast energy recovery. We've seen it a lot, we've seen it in fights all the time. Um, healing Ritual, he doesn't hit that much in, in order to gain back the health. So Malice, yeah, I can see that, but the only other option you can see him with is Holy Conviction. 
so i don't totally agree with all the selections they've got over there the next up they've got the um they've got the traits now they got dodge and hp correct yes crit resist they should have added onto that crit resist is going to be a lot better and then they also have attack which i totally don't agree with like i said you don't use lazulex for his attack you use him purely for his skill which is to go in and kill a base he is used for base destruction his aoe is base destruction so you're gonna place him down he's got revive on him so he's gonna die he's gonna come back he's gonna get a skill activation and destroy the base none of that is attack based so okay so what i neglected to show you is the fast energy recovery look at the energy recovery boom it's full once he got gets skill activation the energy recovery rate is almost instant so that is why i say no hyper strength yeah i don't fully agree with that dodge hp yeah but i would rather add crit resist instead of attack the wheel is deciding and it is going to be vlad dracula congratulations vlad you made the cut now let's take a look at what they have for vlad okay so for vlad we have uh war god revitalize bulwark revive and flame god i do agree with all of those i do not have an ob objection out of all of those i would go with maybe flame god as the main or i would go bulwark i would go bulwark flame god as the main um it's actually a difficult choice it, you need to decide what you use this hero for but my option would be flame god or bulwark as the main as we don't use vlad that often i i'm not going to go into much detail with him the wheel of names chose him so i had to go with him now for the insignia you see this is where i don't agree with the insignias over here and the reason why i do not agree is because if you go back to the talents if we choose bulwark as the talent and you use him in lost battlefield we're gonna have to go with revitalize as the main um if your if your talent should be your insignia as well if that makes any sense if i chose to use revive i want to revitalize bulwark flame god or war god as the insignia that that's just me well for the unholy pact i wouldn't do that because vlad doesn't have enough hp in order to make up for the hp lost by adding um unholy pact onto him brawler's favor he is a brawler legend uh, but I don't see that being a good talent. Nimble could be good. Oracle favor, doubt that. And then also, Zealous Drive, although one of my favorite, I wouldn't choose it for Vlad. I would just stick to whatever he's got on his on, on for the talent. If you choose Bulwark, go to Vitalize. If you choose War God, go to Vitalize, Revive. Uh, any of, like, mix it up that way. I do not agree with the insignia choices of here. Then with the second insignia, what they have, I need to go to a different ledge because it's not unlocked. But what they have for the second insignia is Asthenia. Asthenia? I, I, I don't know what, uh, what the correct way to pronounce it. Uh, Afrikaans, okay? Engels is my tweet at all. Shut up. Um, when a hero enters a battlefield, it reduces the attack of two nearby enemy heroes by 27% for 7 seconds. Although the insignia is good, but Vlad is not that good. Vlad is not a tank. And usually you're going to do that for tanks because you want them to be frontline. You want them to have that ability. If you're not going to have a tank, you're going to want to build them differently. Um, so I don't completely agree with what they have here. As options for Vlad Dracula but it's not that bad it could work then we have malice once again malice Vlad is not a strong legend 
He's going to die pretty soon. Malice isn't going to work well for him. Um, Pyramids, I don't believe that's going to work. Forest Ward could work. Um, I don't agree with any of actually what they have there. Holy Conviction. He's going to be dealing some damage. Healing Ritual. Uh, you could even go to help with the damage being dealt. I would even go with Victory Lunge. Um, you could even go with Lethal Blow. But I wouldn't go with any of those that they have chose for us. Secondly, they have Attack, Crit Resist, and Accuracy. Now, his proc is going to hit Legends, but it's also like an AoE. So, Accuracy isn't really a necessity there, but you could go with that. Um, it's not as if you're going to use Vlad to do zero damage. With all the new heroes being released... Crit resist, dodge, HP, I would go with to keep him alive because he's going to be weak against, especially against all the newer heroes and with the newer releases and the functions and so on. Uh, 159,000 base HP, so it's it's not good. It's not good. It's not high. His base attack is really high, so that is a good thing. But I would rather go with... Um, Burning Plate also helps on him. But I would all rather go with HP, dodge, crit resist. Uh, so don't I don't fully agree with what IGG says is the best build for Vlad Dracula. Next up we have Barbarian Rider. Now, Barbarian Rider is one of my favorite legends, so I am quite happy with this selection. Um, okay, so let's look at Barbarian Rider and what she has to offer. Uh, Castle Clash style. Main talent. Let's just uh, get Barbarian Rider up on the screen. Um, she's one of my favorite legends. I absolutely love this legend. I love using this legend. She's a beast. Okay, so we have Order Bounded, um, Sacred Light, Dragon's Cover, Healing Repost, and Wicked Armor. Uh, Order Bounded, Dragon's Cover, yes. Healing Repost, yeah, it's okay. Wicked Armor, definitely not. Sacred Light, definitely not. Um, brute Force, most definitely damage output. Unholy Pact, you could even go Unholy Pact. She's going to take a bit more damage, but because of the massive HP, 568,000 plus an additional 3.3 million HP, that she's losing is not that bad. So you could go on Unholy Pact, Brute Force, Dragon's Cover, Order Bounded. Those would be the selection that I would think would work best for her. And then let's see what they have as an Insignia. Insignia, Wicked Armor, Sacred Light, Empowered. Revitalize and Dragon's Cover. Now, I do not agree with the Empowered part of it. Because it's going to raise the HP. But what else is going to do for you? Especially in a, in a battle. Um, it's going to have you energy recovery rate but do you really want that for barbarian rider no you want her bolt damage and reduction at the same time so i would rather these insignias that they have i don't know about them uh vampire grail through piety um healing repost even um sacred light yeah definitely sacred light Revitalize, no. Dragon's Cover, depending on what your main talent is. Wicked Armor. You could go Wicked Armor, um, but I'd rather not. Um, the Deflect is not going to affect her that much. It doesn't. We've used it so long, so many times. Um, rarely is um, Deflect ever an issue for Barbarian Rider. So, uh, yeah, I would rather go brute force dragon's cover as the main vampire grail tripari as the insignia and then for your second insignias well they've got basically everything there except the new one but the new one's not going to matter on her because she already avoids cap damage but for most damage output you could do that but i would rather go with tyranny uh, because of the crit the increase in crit um this helps with the the lawful shield helps with the raise of HP and the reduce of damage received, but tyranny is uh, 
It's probably one I'm, uh, that I would go with. Now let's look at the enchantments for Barbarian Rider. As far as the enchantments, they've got Hyper Strength, Holy Conviction, Lethal Blow, Spectre's Instinct, Victory Lunge. My goodness, my uh, I, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Okay, I agree with all of those. I agree with every single one of those. I like them all. Uh, whatever you choose, you can go with. We chose Holy Conviction just to help out with the um, healing received and the damage reduction. But Hyper Strength, Lethal Blow, all of them work wonderfully. And I do not have a problem with that. I forgot to mention in the video about the trait. They've got Accuracy, Attack and Dodge. I agree with that 100%. I currently run Resist. I could resist on mine. But I would r much rather go attack, accuracy, or dodge. Those are my top three choices for trade. So I, I agree 100% with IGG on that one. Now, next legend. And it's going to be Young Sp oh, Grimfiend. Oh, wow. Grimfiend we haven't seen in a while. I haven't used Grimfiend since forever, actually. Okay, for Grimfiend, we've got Scatter, Flame God. Uh, Bulwark, War God, and Lifetime. It's funny that it seems like all the older legends they've got the older talents for, and the newer ones they're gonna have the newer talents. Huh, that's pretty strange because uh, Vampire Grail is not bad, True Pirate is not bad, Brute Force is an absolute beast, Deadly Strike for those one shot madnesses, uh, Dragon's Cover. I mean. There's so many, but they went with s these five selections. Although Bulwark is a good one, um, there are a couple of other ones that is absolutely brilliant. Dragon's Cover, Wicked Armor is brilliant. Um, Healing Reposts work on him. There's, so, there's actually so many. Um, I stick with Bulwark and a couple of other people do too, but there's uh, plenty of other builds you can go with. Uh, let's see what they chose for the insignia. We don't have an insignia on ours currently. Unholy Pact, that's a definite no-no. He dies easily. Uh, once again, Nimble, Brawler's Favor, Oracle Warden, and uh, Oracle's Favor, and uh, Zealous Drive. I don't I don't agree with that at all. Um, I would go Dragon's Cover, Vampire Grail, Dragon's Cover, Sacred Light maybe combination, because he does have a massive attack. Um, Bulwark Vampire Grail maybe Healing Repost The options is actually endless um, There's probably nothing wrong with those options That IGG provides there But I don't agree with that Let's just see what they chose Okay so for As for the new insignia Inspire Raise HP by 160 When attack raises dodge by 50% for three seconds i mean nothing wrong with having that on him tyranny definitely uh zero in insignia would be brilliant on this guy for those one shots um but i don't i mean why do they only choose one there's there's an endless option out there um as for the equipment malice could work pie mage yes it could work but i wouldn't go with that i am um, there's more options out there to give him a bit more of a boost in the game. Unbridled Th um, Fury. Yes, it, that could definitely work. Burning Plate could work. Uh, Holy Conviction. Healing Ritual. Once again, Healing Ritual would be better on him. Because of his attack and his, his HP gain back. Sanctified Blast they've got on there. And then uh, Divine Templar. Um, Holy Conviction, Healing Ritual. Stick with those two. You can't go wrong. Uh, you will win the fights. Well, it seems like in this uh, video, I do not care about traits because I keep on forgetting. But okay, so they chose um, attack, HP and crit resist. I would go with attack, crit resist, dodge and accuracy. Really important accuracy because he's got, uh, Grimfiend's got that massive big blows that he pu uh, punches out. And if you miss them, it's useless. So I would rather choose accuracy than any of the ones that they are providing here. But if I had to choose one of the three, it would be mm, Crit Resist, because he dies easily. Now, I think this is the last legend that is coming up right now. The Wheel of Names is Gonna Select. 
Siren. Rosaline. Whew. Luckily, not Siren. Siren used to be an Arch Demon legend, but now we have Rosaline to talk about. Okay, for Rosaline, they have Flame God, Sacred Light, Revive, Soul Healer, and Through Piety. Yes. Yes. Definitely agree with all of that. Flame God Revive is going to be the main ones that I will stick with. Um, you can go with whatever you want, but I would suggest Flame God or Revive. Even Sacred Light. Okay, so my options would be Flame God first, Revive second, Sacred Light third, fourth would be Soul Healer, and True Piety would be last. As I wouldn't really want to go in True Piety. Then we've got Empowered. I could see that working, but nah, I wouldn't go with that. Revitalize, no, I wouldn't go with that either. Um, Sacred Light, definitely. Unholy Pact is a really good option because of her skill. Deals damage to surrounding targets equal to 690% of Yero's attack plus 70% of target's max HP. Every one second for five seconds, cooldown seven seconds. Yero takes 70% less damage and is immune to stun and fear. When in battle, Yero restores HP equal to 30% of her max HP every three seconds. Unholy Pact's also a really good option on Rosaline. Do not ever forget that. But Sacred Light, Unholy Pact, Flame God, Revive, uh, you could go Vampiric Grail, you could test it out with any of those other ones, but those are a good starting point if you want to start out with Rosaline. Second, we've got the Inspire one again, which I don't disagree with, but I don't completely agree. Uh, I would rather go Tyranny or Zero In, um, as that is going to help this legend out a lot more. And then what do we have for enchantments? So, enchantment based, they've got Holy Conviction, Forest Ward, Malice, Healing Ritual, and Victory Lunge. I can agree with all of those, completely agree. Holy Conviction would be my first option, Malice my second option, third would be Healing um, Ritual, uh, fourth would be Forest Ward, and then last would be Victory Lunge. Those are my options, I would say so. Completely agree with those. You could go with any one of those, doesn't matter. Now, for the equipment, they have um, dodge, HP, and attack. Yeah, that's, I mean, I mean it's okay. Uh, dodge, yeah, n I wouldn't go with HP. I would go dodge, accuracy, attack. Or maybe even instead of accuracy, I'd go crit resist. I wouldn't go HP though. If you've already done HP, good luck. But I would go rather attack because dodge is not easy to get. HP is easy to get, but I would rather go attack if I had to choose out of those three. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoy this new series that I'm going to do. This is going to, like I said, a few part series. Because I'm going to do five at a time. And there's 121 legends. <laughs> Two more to be added. So 123 legends. So there's going to be a couple. Hopefully... Um, before I'm done, they add two more, so it's an equal 125 before I end the series. But that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.